Hi everyone. Today I wanted to share with you um, a quick remedy. If you have um, foot cramps, leg cramps, you know those horrible calf cramps, um, muscle spasms, well particularly in your legs. Um, I don't know if you've ever gotten these but I was getting them a lot. Um, just these random shooting pains. Um, I'd get them anywhere from my um, ankle up to my thigh. Just walking along, doing your thing, and wham! This pain would just all of a sudden shoot through you. Only lasts a couple seconds and then it's gone again. But it was like, holy cow. Well, I was getting a lot of those and the foot cramps. Thankfully, not the calf cramps, although I know how bad those can be because I got them a lot when I was pregnant. It was just awful. But anyhow, um, so yeah, I was getting these a lot, and of course, I love to research, so that's the first thing I did. And research told me that I was probably low in magnesium. And some people are low based on their diet, some people are low um, based on medications they take, or on, uh, because of di digestive issues. And that was definitely me, and I have digestive issues, so I think I wasn't absorbing, or am not absorbing the way I should. So I didn't want to get a supplement in a pill form for um, the magnesium, so I started looking for um, liquid, because I knew I would take that right, you know, that would absorb easily. So I, went, I found one with great reviews and everything. Here it is. Ionic Magnesium. Maybe you could use it. See how small this cap is? You only need a cap full of that. So um, I did read in reviews that a lot of people did not like how it tasted. There were a few who didn't have a problem, but most said it was not good. <laughs> So if you don't like it, you should take it with juice or something, which is what I did the first go around. Because you only take such a small amount, I put it in a little bit of juice and I just slammed it. It was horrible. <laughs> just horrible. I couldn't, oh my goodness. And so I'm thinking, oh God, that was, you know, oh. So the next day I decided I'm going to switch juices and I'm going to, you know, use more juice and see how that goes. So I did. Just as bad. Just as bad. And it's not just the taste. It made me also feel really nauseous. So now I have a whole bottle of this and I can't use it. I can't drink it. I suppose I could, but I'm not going to make myself nauseous. So the next thing I thought of came along because I had started a new job where I'm walking a lot. Now I already have foot issues like bunions, fallen arches, whatever, and being on my feet a lot was really killing me. By the end of the shift, I, I am not lying when I'm telling you I could barely walk. So um, the first thing I was going to do was you know, take a foot bath when I got home, put some Epsom salt in there, and of course, sure enough, I felt better. Well, I looked into that a little bit more, and you really do absorb the magnesium from Epsom salt when you're using it as a bath or a foot bath. And the magnesium, it relaxes your muscles. It's also anti-inflammatory. It's actually got a, a huge range of benefits to it. And you can get your magnesium through there. So I started um, doing either a full bath or a foot bath, I'd say about four times a week. And wow, what a difference. What a difference it has made. Uh, no more foot cramps no more um, uh, spasms, like 
you know and those were another thing at night like you're trying to go to sleep and it twitches you know what i mean those were gone and then those random uh, stabbing pains were also gone and an, another benefit of it is um magnesium actually really softens your skin too so all around i think it's you know great so get yourself some epsom salt and you don't have to buy fancy expensive epsom salt this stuff is cheap you can buy the cheap stuff you know just make sure that it does say that it's magnesium sulfate you know um because i guess there are some synthetic ones out there although i don't know why but um, I wouldn't even buy the scented because they jack up the price for that. And a lot of those scents are artificial anyways. So go ahead and buy the cheap stuff. And if you want a scent to it, throw a, a few drops of um, essential oils in there. Like I put a few drops of um, uh, chamomile in here. And it's very nice, very relaxing. And I really do enjoy it. And actually with Epsom salt, the bigger um, the bag or box you get, the cheaper it gets. So I'm going to buy a bigger one uh, next go around. And I saved an old uh, gallon water bottle. And I'm going to put it in there with some oils, shake it up, and then it's easy to pour out that way. Now, dosage, if you want to call it that, if you're just going to do a foot bath, you're probably going to use about one cup of um, Epsom salt in there. And it's best to put it in while the water is running or just with your hand, something. you got to move it around so that it dissolves in the water. And then if you're going to take a full bath, use two cups of Epsom salt. Unless you have a very large bath or a really deep one, then I would add a little bit more. And you're going to want to soak 15 to 20 minutes. It takes that long for your body to absorb it through your skin. But um, have a good relaxing time. I know I do. And if you don't have time or it, you, you, it's not feasible for you to go into a bathtub, it's too difficult, or you don't own a bathtub, maybe you just have a shower stall, go ahead and do the foot bath. You know, use a dish pan and put some warm water in there with your salt and sit there and just relax a bit. Because even the foot bath, you'll absorb just as much magnesium that way as you would if you took a full-on bath. So, um, if you got arthritis or gout or anything like that, soaking in the Epsom salt will definitely help. It'll relax those muscles. It helps with your nervous system. It'll relax everything. You'll feel really good. So if you already do, you know, Epsom salt baths uh, or, or whatever, however you use it, please put it down in comments. We'd all like to hear about it. Just let us know what your experience has been. And if you haven't, I hope you do try it. It's an old remedy, but a very good one. So anyhow... It was nice talking to you, and you take care.